Hey there, I'm Benjamin from Love's Data. In this video, we're going to cover consent settings for Google Analytics. If you've recently logged into Google Analytics, you might have seen a message saying you need to verify your consent settings. We'll cover what this is and what you need to do. Google has introduced consent settings in Google Analytics to meet requirements in the EU for advertisers who are collecting data to personalize ads. This means if you're using Google Analytics data in a linked Google Ads account, you'll need to check your consent settings. Let's take a look. In this Google Analytics property, we can see there is a message saying we need to verify our consent settings. This message will appear if data from European-based users is available in a linked Google Ads account. It also means that consent signals for ad personalization aren't being sent with data to Google Analytics. This means you will need to check that you're using a consent banner on your website. And if you're already using a consent banner, then you might need to adjust the settings used for the banner. We can click Manage Consent Settings to see more details, or we can navigate to Admin. Again, we can see additional messages about our consent settings. We can see a message at the top of the Admin area, and we can see a message saying Action Required for our data streams. Let's select Data Streams. And let's select our data stream. We can now see the consent settings for our data stream. In this property, we can see it says Action Required for Ad Personalization. And it says Ad Personalization Consent Settings Not Detected. This means we're collecting data that's used in a linked Google Ads account, and consent signals for ad personalization are not being sent with the data we're collecting. This means we have three options. The first option is to leave everything as it is. This will mean that data collected from European-based users won't be available in Google Ads. The second option is to disable ad personalization for the linked Google Ads account. This will mean that the data won't be sent to Google Ads from Google Analytics. To do this, we can navigate to product links in the admin area. Then select Google Ads Links. And disable personalized advertising for any linked Google Ads accounts. To do this, you can select the account. Then switch the Enable Personalized Advertising option to Off. Once you've saved this change, you won't see the message about consent settings in Google Analytics. Apart from leaving everything as it is in Google Analytics and disabling ad personalization, the third option is to adjust your consent banner. This is where you modify your consent banner so that ad personalization consent signals are sent to Google Analytics. Or if you're not using a consent banner yet, you'll need to implement one on your website. If you haven't added a consent banner to your website, I recommend using a consent management platform. Using a consent management platform is more reliable than using your own custom consent banner, and they generally provide additional features and benefits. This will include support, consent logs, customization options, and more. Let's look at one consent management platform. This is Termly. There are lots of other platforms to choose from, but I've found this platform is fairly straightforward to use, and it's also competitively priced compared to other platforms. Whether you're using Termly or another solution, the main thing to check is that you're using Google Consent Mode. This feature ensures that consent signals are sent to Google Analytics when data is collected. This will ensure that we can use available data from European-based users in our linked Google Ads account. To find this in Termly, we select Consent Management. Then Consent Banner. Now we need to scroll down. And ensure Google Consent Mode is set to On. Once you've saved the settings and checked that the Consent Banner is correctly implemented on your website, you'll be up and running. 
a green tick will also appear in the consent settings section of your data stream in Google Analytics. Let's head back to Google Analytics to see this. You will need to wait up to 48 hours once you've adjusted your implementation before you see updates in the consent settings section. Then you'll see something like this. We can see there is a green tick and it says add personalization consent signals active. This means consent signals are being sent with the data we're collecting and we can use the available data in our linked Google Ads account for targeting and personalization. If you haven't already, it's a good idea to check the consent settings for each of your data streams in Google Analytics. This will ensure you'll be able to continue to use all of your available data in your linked Google Ads account. If you'd like me to cover how to set up and add a consent banner on your website, let me know in the comments. And to stay up to date and learn even more about Google Analytics, please take a moment to subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.